This particular time, I was reaching for a supply box on the top shelf when one office worker, who shall remain nameless, kicked the ladder out from under me and yelled, Hey, Daryl, how's it hanging? <laughs> I'm legitimately scared for my workers. I'm a foster child. That's oh. something I'm pretty sensitive about. Aaron is an orphan. No, I have parents. I just I wasn't raised by them. OK, OK, hey. Relax, Annie, all right? We got crazy story covered. Anybody else? I don't want people making fun of my weight. OK, that's too broad. It's got to be something else. How about your stomach? Yum? If I had a gun with two bullets and I was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I would shoot Toby twice. No. That's yeah. Do I still have a job here? Not important. Oh OK, all right. If you think she's cute now, you should have seen her a couple of years ago. What? Why, hello, everybody. What are you doing? Fair question. I said, I said, I said, I sit down, Holly. I'll take it from here. I am beautiful. They are beautiful. He is beautiful. This big fat pig is beautiful. <laughs> um, I can't believe this. I mean, I've never even stolen as much as a paper clip and now you're firing me. This is very difficult to say, but uh, no one here likes you in the office, and we are going to have to let you go. Hank, would you come up here, please? Hank is our security guard. Oh, he I will can be come. ushering you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, your face! Oh, is no, I'm kidding. People... No, you're not. You're not fired yet. Oh. Oh. Do they not like me though? I don't know, actually. Okay. You ready? What are you doing? I am going to embrace Oscar. You might want to watch this, Angela, because you can't catch anything. Here we go. No. We are going to make a statement. You and I are going to make a statement together. Oscar is my friend. I'd rather not. And I just don't care who sees it. I doesn't bother me. Really? Would, would, I'd really rather not. Come here, I friend. Really rather not. You're my friend. No! No! I don't want to touch you. Ever considered that? You're ignorant and insulting and small. What's happening? Oh, some guy exposed himself to Phyllis in the parking lot. Really, is she okay? Yeah, Bob Vance took her for a walk to calm down. Okay. <sighs> Phyllis, you say? <sighs> hmm. <laughs> what is so funny? Um, I mean, did he even see Pam? Or, uh... Karen from behind? <laughs> I'm guessing not. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's pretty funny when you think about it. Oh, not really, no. It's disgusting and demeaning. Oh, okay, masters of comedy. A guy dropped his pants. Have you ever been to the circus? Okay. He's back! Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> Lunch party. It's supposed to say launch. Okay. Wow. Easy booster seat. Nobody cares about this party anyway. I care. Where's my girl? Is she in the fridge? Where is she hiding? <laughs> I don't know where she is. Oh, because I'm drunk. I can't even find her. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know who I am. I do. Yeah. Hi. I just haven't hugged you in a while. Mmm. Good. That felt good. Let's go. Party. How about that hot picture you have by your desk? Centerfold in the Catholic schoolgirl's outfit? I mean, it is hot, it is sexy, and it turns him on, and I will admit, uh, best part of my morning staring at it. But what, are we gonna just take it away? That is my daughter. She goes to Catholic girls' school. 
I'm taking it down right now. I have an extra twin bed if you want. You are going to be sleeping by yourself for the rest of your life, so you should just get used to it. Michael owes me an apology. For trying to find happiness in the arms of a lover? Don't call my mother your lover. Ooh, yes, oh. that's what I'm talking about. That is not OK, dude. All right, in my defense. Disgusting. Shh. That's messed up, man. Yes, thank you. Welcome to my personal hell. You have no sense of boundaries, Michael. Shut up, Oscar. I guess there are just some people who you stay together with when you transfer, and some people you don't. And that's just the way it is. And I can be mature about that. Good stuff. Um, Andy and Dwight are rocking the sales team. I feel very blessed. You think Jim is someone who's ready to move into a management position? Um. Permission to speak on the record? Please do. Jim is like Big Bird. He is tall and yellow and very nice. But would I put him in charge? No. I don't think so. But here's his performance report. Right here. <clears throat> now this was written by Toby, who we all know is extremely reliable. Constant office distraction, spends way too much time at reception, antagonizes other salesmen, not at all what he thinks he is. It's not very well written, but you get the gist. Hey, it's cool. Man, I work in the warehouse. I'm cool. I'm hip and I'm jive. But I don't care about nobody. Do you know who I am? Happy Halloween, jerk! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Um, how much of a hit? is 10% of our Blue Cross account. 10%? Yeah. They're our largest client. That's yeah. It's gonna hurt. Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec, Tom. What's that? You found five golden tickets. And does it say limit one per customer? Nope, it doesn't. Michael? Okay, I think I'm, it might have been an inside consultant. Was it the sales department? Yes. Was it Jim? No. Was it Dwight? Yes. You know what? I'll help. I will no, help. Please. Don't. Don't be shy. Dwight, let's do this. Let's do Come this. on. Come We're on. doing this thing. Ready? Let's get up. On three. One, two. Bend the knees. Okay, oh. here we go. Here we go. I'm under this. I'm under this hawk here. I don't know what I'm grabbing here. All right, all right, but stop, put it me down. Good. Push it, down. push it. Down. I'm right in your crack. Not put me down right now. Open the door. You got it. You got it. Man. You got it. You got it. Put you got me down it. right, right. now. Right. 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 Okay. 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 Easy. Do you fellas take Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration, to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you, for the first time as a couple, Mr. and Mrs. Bob Vance. And do you, Bob, take Phyllis to be your lawfully wedded wife? Oh, I haven't seen you since my accident that I had when I fell. I fell into the pool of acid, eyes first. Blind guy. Blind guy McSqueezy. How do I describe it? It is a character I've been workshopping whose lack of vision gets him into all sorts of trouble. The women in my improv class absolutely hate him. Michael? Oh. Are you Michael Scott? Is who Michael what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm supposed to be meeting someone named Michael. Oh, that's not... Yeah, I'm Michael? Not, okay. Michael? Large hot chocolate with caramel and a shot of peppermint. I am so proud of all of you. Derek and LaFerve and, and Ben and Ayana and Michaela and Nikki and Jason and I'm sorry, okay, sorry, spacing your name. 
I'm Zion. I'm Michaela's younger brother. Well, Zion, I am not going to be paying for your tuition. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to my main point, and that is that I will not be able to pay for anybody's tuition. I'm so, so sorry. What? You're kidding me. Excuse me? Why are you so sorry? You promised. Why are you so sorry?